Hi, everybody. Nicole Russo here for DRF Breeding, flying solo on this week's edition of the DRF Breeding Report. As we look back on the world-renowned Royal Ascot meeting in England, one of the stars of the show was the late sire Scat Daddy, who sired an incredible four winners in the five days of racing. The stallion who was based at Coolmore's Ashford studding Kentucky led all sires at Royal Ascot as international standouts Galileo and Dubawi, both of whom stand in Europe, sired three winners each. Let's take a look at Scat Daddy's performers at Royal Ascot. You see his four winners there from eight starters on the week, of course, led by his European champion, Lady Aurelia, in the Group 1 King Stand Stakes, and the undefeated Caravaggio in the Group 1 Commonwealth Cup. Lady Aurelia and Caravaggio actually repeat winners at the Royal Meeting, having taken the Group 2 Queen Mary and Group 2 Coventry, respectively, in 2016. Scat Daddy, also the sire of Norfolk Stakes winner Sue Nation, Sandringham, Sandringham winner Conte Partiro, and a couple of other runners who placed in group stakes at Royal Ascot. So just an unbelievable week. Let's take a closer look at Lady Aurelia, who is well in the midst of another star season in 2017. We're watching her win the Giants Causeway Stakes on the Keeneland turf. She won this headed over to England for her return engagement at Ascot. She is two for two on the year. She's defeated her elders in both of these outings. She's five for six lifetime with her only loss, a third in Group One company last year overseas. She could chase other big international prizes this summer and fall before the Breeders' Cup turf sprint later in the year at Del Mar. Now, the success of Lady Aurelia and others is certainly going to fuel the demand for Scat Daddy's final offspring at auction. He, remember, he sired last year's Keeneland September sale topper, a $3 million colt. His final foals are yearlings this year, and we'll be keeping an eye on that storyline at the select yearling sales. We are coming up on the yearling sale season, and two weeks from now, Dan Illman and I will take a closer look at the phasing Tipton July sale, which kicks the season off. Until then, you can keep an eye on our staff on Twitter, at DRF Breeding, for all the latest bloodstock news and notes. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the DRF Breeding Report.